gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Sydney, and welcome back to another Sit Saturday. Today's video is special because it is a collab with my good friend Paige, otherwise known as Paige Backstage, here on YouTube, and she makes awesome videos talking about vinyl and music and all sorts of things. You should definitely go check her out because her channel is amazing, and I love her, and hair goals, and she's just great. And if you like me, you'll definitely like her videos. And if you're coming from her channel, hello, my name is Sydney and I put out new videos every Sid Saturday plus bonus videos throughout the week, so you should definitely subscribe and stick around. My next video is going to be a record collection update, so you should definitely stick around for that because I got some awesome pics this month. Don't look. <laughs> so make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Those are all Diz with Sid. I post a lot about music and Disney and other life stuff on those platforms as well. So with that being said, let's just hop right into the video, which I didn't even explain yet. Basically, we are going over um, our pins. I have a lot of Disney pins, like an insane amount of Disney pins, but recently I've started collecting non-Disney pins, and so I figured I'd show off most of those today, plus a couple of Disney pins that I saved that I thought that you guys might like. And yeah, we're just gonna talk about pins. And I'm gonna make my denim jacket look really pretty because right now it's looking a little sad because all the pins were waiting for this video. But anyways, I guess first I'll start with the pins on my jacket. This one right here is from a company called Millie Pins. So I'll be showing you a bunch of her pins in this video because they're so good. And this is, just says Harry Styles in the like pink emoji heart. I have this Mania pin because as I'm filming this, Mania comes out tonight, the new Fall Out Boy album. I'm a little nervous, a little excited. And then this pin right here says Mike and Lucas and Dustin and Eleven and Will and Will's upside down. For obvious reasons, if you watch Stranger Things, this I got at Hot Topic. And finally, I have this pin over here, which is a Mickey-shaped disco ball. And I got this at the Dapper Day Expo from a company called Unicorn Crafts. So, yes. That's what I have on my jacket so far. And now let's just hop right into the other pins because I have so many good things to show you. So I actually have both pins and buttons. I don't know if you guys like count those as the same thing, but like I know I showed you this one. But I'm gonna show you all my pins first and then I'll go through and show you all my little buttons. So first things first, I'm gonna continue with more Millie pins. This one right here is a From the Dining Table inspired Harry Styles pin. And it says, even my phone misses your call. And it's the cutest old school telephone. And I just, I'm obsessed with this pin. I got it for Christmas. Also for Millie pins, I got this Girl Almighty pin. This has to be one of my favorite pins that I own because Girl Almighty is an amazing song and I love just like the symbolism of a hand holding a lightning bolt. And finally for Millie pins, I have this the Kiwi Club pin, which is obviously inspired by Harry's song called Kiwi. And it's a hand holding a cactus. And this is just so cute. Her designs are so clever. So definitely go check out her Etsy if you haven't already. Another company with cute pins is Fan Flare. She mostly has Disney pins, basically just fandom related pins. And this one right here is just a pair of winged eyeliner and it says just wing it. And I thought this was too good to pass up because I'm not wearing it today, but I'm usually wearing winged eyeliner and sometimes you just gotta wing it. You know what I mean? I guess I'll show you some of my Disney pins I saved for this video. This pin I love and it is Mickey and Minnie in a taxi. I got this at the D23 Expo, which is like a Disney fan convention, and I got it for super cheap, and it was just so cute, and they're with all their luggage, and they're in the taxi, and I love New York. I'm hoping to go back there soon, probably this year, and I can sport this pin on my denim jacket. This one I figured you guys would love because it is Disney and music related, and that is Chip and Dale, who are actually my two favorite, like, main Disney characters. And they're sitting inside of a pair of headphones with native music, and it's just so cute! Paige actually commented on my video and said that she almost bought this pin, but this pin right here is a suitcase, and it has all of the Disney parks around the world, so Shanghai, Paris, Orlando, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Anaheim. And you flip it open, and it says, Around the World with Mickey, and it has Mickey holding a suitcase. And this is super cute because I have been to... Tokyo, Orlando, and Anaheim. Hope to get to all of them someday because I freaking love Disney. Obviously, Diz was Sid. Not only do I love Disney, I also really love Marvel and my favorite superhero is Spider-Man. So I saw this pin at D23 as well. I had to pick it up because Spider-Man. Tom Holland Spider-Man is amazing. It's my favorite Spider-Man. Don't fight me. He's the love of my life. I cannot with him. So I went to Universal for the first time recently and by the time you're watching this I'll be going to Universal Studios tomorrow which is exciting. Uh, so I got this head girl pin because I wanted a Harry Potter pin that wasn't super basic. I figured that this was subtle and I liked it and it's yellow because I am a Hufflepuff and it was just really cute and I needed it in my life. How many times am I going to say cute in this video? I just, that's all too cute. I can't not say cute. Ah. 
Next up, I have this set of four music pins. I have, and they're all Panic at the Disco related. This was $15 on the Death of a Bachelor tour, and it has this uh, skeleton looking Brendan, and it has the Panic at the Disco font, word, logo thing, and then it has the uh, cult symbol thing that they're doing right now, and then it has uh, Demon Brendan from the Emperor's New Clothes music video. Fun fact, I accidentally wore this denim jacket to church and it had a literal demon on it. So that was fun. <laughs> Next up is this really cute pin set I got from Charming Charlie a while back. I really never go there, but I happened to pop in there and I saw these two pins and this one is a hand with chopsticks in it and this one is a little baby sushi and I don't eat meat anymore but I still love sushi and this is just the cutest little thing and I actually bought this right before I went to Japan segue we're going in to pins I bought in Japan which actually isn't that many I'm proud of myself I spent so much money in Japan on random stuff like I spent a good $20 on Pokemon plush keychains we're just not going to talk about that anyways my favorite purchase from japan was definitely this rapunzel pin i got this at tokyo disneyland and it is her sitting on this carousel horse and it's covered in flowers it's pastel it's so gorgeously beautiful and it makes me mad because there's nothing like this in the states speaking of pokemon i bought this pokemon pin it was celebrating the release of something but i am like such a casual pokemon fan that i was like this is cute, I want it. Cause it has, it says happy party time. It's very cute, pastel, Tokyo, kawaii, ah, okay. It is this Hello Kitty pin that looks like sushi. This was super cheap. This was like 300 yen, which is like $3 or something insane. And I was like, yep, it's Hello Kitty as sushi. I need this in my life right now. This pin I bought from the same seller as my Mickey Disco Ball pin and it is just a dole whip if you've ever been to disneyland you know that dole whips are the best they are so good if you like pineapple if you don't like pineapple then there's really no point but i love pineapple and i love dole whips i bought these two pins from hot topic they don't have a lot of pins but they had some cute ones oh like a year ago so i bought them this one right here just says fangirl it's from a brand called ripple junction and it was on their website and that is a good word to sum me up even though it's using kind of like a negative way when it comes to describing girls who like things um i like it i like the word it's a simple pin really cute for like the pocket of your denim jacket it was there for a long time before i took it off for this video so from hot topic i bought this 21 pilots pin because i'm obsessed with 21 pilots and i needed a 21 pilots pin for my jacket this was like four dollars this pin right here says slay on say on it and this is official beyonce merchandise people i saw beyonce live paid way too much money it was the best experience of my life though so i wouldn't trade it for anything but oh my gosh everything was expensive i'm wearing my beyonce shirt right now actually hey i definitely did not pay 55 dollars for a t-shirt what are you talking about i bought this button in florida it is a coca-cola button and it says pop it's the real thing it's like vintage inspired Coke buttons, I bought one for Tess and for me when I was in Florida in March. We didn't meet till September, but I had to have it and it reminded me of us. And yeah, I bought this 21 Pilots button from Hot Topic because there was a point where I literally just like blacked out and bought so much 21 Pilots merch, it was embarrassing. So I had this cute little button. And I have this So Many Concerts, So Little Money button because accurate. My most recent button purchase, and it's this one that says Love Sucks. Because at the moment, it does. There's these vending machines at Amoeba Music that you can put 50 cents in and hopefully get a button or a guitar pick or both or a coupon or whatever. And I got a cute little button. It's a rainbow. I love it very much. This little 11 button, a Stranger Things button from Target. This came in a pack of four and I spread them out amongst all of my Stranger Things group chat. I have that. It exists. It's the best thing ever. It's from my very first record store day. I went to Dimple Records in Sacramento and got two releases, got a free button and a free tote bag, lived my best life, waited in line for a really long time, got uh, weird looks from old dudes. Record store is interesting, but very fun and we get free things. This button from my topic which says, I need some space because I do and I love space personal and outer. 
we are down to the final three buttons. This one right here says Double Bubble Disco Queen, and this is handmade by one of my subscribers and good friends, Ashley, which is very sweet of her. She sent this in a package when we did a Christmas swap, and it is so cute. I die. I also have this button, which just says The Panic on it, because Rock Sound, it's like a music magazine company from the UK, was doing The Peace and The Panic, like two separate neck deep bundles. And my brother really wanted like the other red neck deep merchandise, so we got The Panic. So this just says The Panic. It's half of an album title. This button is really big for no reason, but it's pretty cute. <laughs> Last but not least, we have my Star Wars cast member name tag. And it's my name in the Star Wars language. So I don't know what it's called. It's like Auberesh. I probably butchered that. Please don't hate me. And with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below with my favorite button or pin that I showed in this video. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Sid Saturday, plus bonus videos throughout the week. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at Diz with Sid. And don't forget to subscribe to Paige because she makes amazing videos. And we both put out videos on Saturdays, so you'll have two awesome videos from two colored haired music ladies to look forward to. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that I see you in the next one. Bye!